exciting that is about to come again. Oko Oniku and Nabole are my guests. They are both spokespersons of Na Gadangbe reality TV show. And they are truly here to speak to us about that. Thank you very much, lady and gentlemen. You're welcome. It's good to see you. I hear, I just heard from someone, they get to see you yearly. <laughs> and one, it's an annual ritual uh, yeah. that you bless our screens uh, once again. So tell us, I mean, for those who are watching for the first time, I just said Nagadangbe reality TV show. As to whether that is even the name, I would not purport to be a spokesperson <laughs> of it. What is the name? What does it stand to do? How many is, are we doing it? What are we doing next? Okay. Um, a very good morning to your lovely viewers. So the name is Nagadangwe Beauty Pageant. Okay. Yeah. So it's a traditional beauty pageant that seeks to project the Gadangwe culture. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have ladies from Gamashi to Ada. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Gamashi to Ada. Yes, yeah, so we have Gamashi, we have Osu, we have La, we have Teshi, we have Nungwa, we have Pram Pram, we have Pong, we have Shai Osu Doku, and then Ada, right? Yeah, so what we do is that we select uh, various ladies from these towns, and then they come together to compete for the crown, Naga Dangwe. And we've been doing this for three years, this is the third edition third edition yes oh that's that's a long time that's a long time coming and there are a lot of gains we've made talk right. to us about the journey and why there's a need to even bounce back this time the fourth time yeah thank you very much um, like Nabole rightly said um, we say good morning to your viewers in fact our main motive is to project the Gadangwe culture and traditions mm. most of times Gadangwe communities like the Ustu, La Teshi, people see those places as a cosmopolitan community. Mm. So sometimes you, you have people saying, Tema doesn't belong to anybody, Ustu doesn't belong to anybody, with the mindset that because we have people all from all walks of life, mm. it's automatically a universal ground for people. But mm. we have the traditional communities or the traditional towns and the traditional cultures and festivals of these very communities. So Agido events in TV Africa came out to, I mean, portray the rich culture and the traditional activities we have in this very community mm. like Naboli rightly said we select ladies to come and compete now in in competition they try to educate you and i as far as what the customs and uh, traditions of the garden we, um, i mean diaspora or the garden we communities are concerned mm. most of the times you see this edging cross symbol mm -hmm. you see jinyami you see sankofa and, mm. and sometimes anytime you're talking about national issues people think those symbols naturally um, represents, I mean, national symbols. Mm. But when it comes to the Gadangwe aspect, we have Gadangwe mm. symbols. Mm. Looking at the shirt I am wearing now, mm. these are some of the Gadangwe symbols. Mm. So, now Gadangwe, it's not only beauty pageant. Mm. I mean, to do cart working, to do fashion designing, but at the end of it all, we project our culture and tradition. Like now, Bolly said, this is actually the third edition we mm. did for the first time. And it, it yielded good results because you have people calling, advising us, okay, today you talked about festival. Tomorrow, why don't you talk about another thing like naming ceremony? Mm. So you have people really, really follow the show. And sometimes when we, we, we are done with the show, you look at the, the live feed from TV Africa Facebook pages mm. and the comments that comes really shows that people are really, really in love with what we are doing, especially mm. people who are in the diaspora. Sometimes mm. somebody has been in the U.S., I think, um, the second edition, uh, I mean, the, the opening ceremony, I wasn't in Ghana, I was in, um, I'm in Dubai. Mm. And I had people from the Ghanaian community who were actually at a program. So I had to zoom in my phone and then they watched the program on the show. Some of them have been in Dubai for close to 10 years. So they hardly see this traditional festival thing and mm. they felt good. And then afterward, the subsequent programs, you see them zooming in and watching. So I think we are using this very opportunity mm. to train people. We have people in U.S. who children have not been to Ghana before, mm -hmm. but with the help of Nagadangwe, they know if I'm from Tema, you are celebrating Peleju and then Homowo Festival. They know if you are from uh, Nungwa, you celebrate the uh, Ubenishimo and other festivals mm -hmm. as well. And then most of the time when you are talking about this, people think it is only about Ghana. Mm -hmm. But we took the name Nagadangwe because we have people from the Dangwe land, people from the Ghana coming together mm -hmm. to exhibit and project our culture. I see. So yeah, it encompasses a lot of things about the Gad Dangbe tradition, right? And that's what you have done. Looking at the fourth time, why, 
What should we expect the fourth time? Because, of course, three years later, you know, we are getting established. What's coming through in the fourth year? Okay. Um, it's getting better. Mm. And I would say that our contestants for this year are fired up. They are prepared. And because this is the third time, mm. it's something that they've witnessed for the second time. They've seen the first edition. They've seen the second. And they are fired up to give up their best for the third edition and for this third edition we are introducing we are taking a little break you know we are introducing a new feature which uh, i would tell all people that have been watching nagadang before these two years to watch out we are taking a little drift mm. and they should just get prepared so it's a surprise yes it's a surprise, it's a surprise. Oh, okay okay i see have we gotten the ladies here? Are we now calling for the ladies to come through? Have we auditioned? Because I am ready. Right. Okay, so uh, <laughs> uh, subsequently, mm. we, we, we normally do auditioning and then, I mean, we, 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 we select the ladies. But okay. this time around, it's most of the communities, Tema is doing Miss Tema Homawa. Nungwa is doing Miss Nungwa, uh, Face of Nungwa. Gamashi is doing Gamashi. So ideally, we made it known to the um, organizers of this very competition in their various communities that mm. whoever wins, from your community, the person is now. Let's take uh, football for instance. Before you can get to the semi-finals, you have to qualify from the group stages. Mm. Uh, so anybody that wins from the very community she is coming from automatically qualifies to represent that community. I mean, at the let me say the Champions League. Yes. Yeah, so as I speak to you now, we've done our our our, our selections. We've they have presented the ladies. We, we we've done our photo shoot. As I speak to you now, they are in their um, reality house. As I speak to you now. Yes. Oh, so, so the ladies are ready? Yes, yeah. they are ready. Ah, they are ever ready. You should have said they this are so ready. Because I wanted to join on. Oh, but oh, you're, you're male. <laughs> huh? You're male? Oh, what <laughs> women can do, men can do. What, <laughs> what, can what, do. what you can do is that you can support, uh, possibly you can choose one community, uh, one lady, and then when she's coming, you can be uh, maybe props or something, you can help with it. You can help. Yeah, props or something, yeah. Uh, so I cannot participate? No, you can't. No. In there, in there, in there, in there, in there. Anyways, <laughs> so the girls are in the house already. Yeah. yeah. Groomed, yeah. And, they're yeah. And, yeah. and they're getting ready. Do we, do we have a date already? That yes. We're starting? yes. Tell yes. us about it. So this Saturday. Oh, we are starting. This, uh, yes. We are launching or starting? Launching. Oh, okay. oh. And then that will also be our first show. So it will be like an introduction for the ladies. Mm, I yes. see. So the introduction of the ladies, how many are they? There yeah. are ten. Yeah, ten. Yeah. Ten ladies uh, for the crown right. as yes. Naga Dangwe. Uh, yes. All right. All those who are won, are you in touch with them? Yes, for the, yes. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. We are in touch with them. And then I think the first and the second winner, they are still on their projects. Oh, yes, yes. So this coming Saturday, we are going to project their projects, things that they've done, so that the world can know that, hey, this is not just maybe a beauty pageant mm. or culture or something, mm. but then there's this humanitarian mm. and then this educative part of it. Mm. So we are going to project it so that everybody will see, as far as that Gadangwe is concerned, how far we have gone. I see. So for those of you who have been really a TV Africa, you, 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 are, you are not doing things, cultural things again, you are veering off your, your name. And all, please, we have started. Come and support. <clears throat> We have started Amazing Child. Come and support. You said, oh, you were doing it. You left it for people to come and take now. We are back. Come and support Amazing. Come and support Nagadangbe. And that's by way of calling for support for you. Right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So you need support, right? Yes. yes. So support, please call out for them so that they come. Because we have started, though. Right. Yeah. We have started. So have started. You, you, you could, oh, there are more. You don't need, they are, you don't in need. Fact, in fact, um, Oliver Twist. Yeah. 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 So um, <laughs> we just want to use this very opportunity to call on um, individuals and institutions to um, come and support this very project. One thing is that when you are supporting Naga Dangwe, you are not just supporting for supporting sake, but we also use the opportunity to advertise your products. Mm. You can even be a Kelly Willy seller. Yeah. Mm. Just come and support us. And every Saturday when we are live, in fact, I am the co MC okay. for, for, for the program. And then I will use the very opportunity from my producers to advertise for you. One thing is that we sometimes have some challenges when it comes to the ladies. Okay. Mm. You have some communities, I mean, um, deciding not to partake or, I mean, to be part of the whole thing. But the one thing, is? Um, it's, 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 it's not known. Okay. But one thing we want them to know is that whatever we are doing, we are just organizers. I am from Teba. Mm. Now Bole is from Nungwa. We have other organizers from all the Gadangwe communities. And we think this is the time that you and I must protect our culture. 
Yes, we have people saying Tema doesn't belong to anybody. No one doesn't belong to anybody. But this is an opportunity we are using to tell people that, yes, I am a proud Tema. Mm. You are a proud Adan. Somebody is a proud Nungu. Well, let's mm. exhibit and project our culture. Mm. Like I said, we have people watching from the diaspora. We have people who have never been home for quite some number of years now. But they watch such activities on telly. They watch on their Facebook lives. And they feel at home. They have a sense of belonging. So we are just pleading with everybody. A traditional leader, whoever, a political leader. We, in fact, we are bringing everybody on board. And okay. this very Saturday, the opening show and then the, the launching of the whole thing, it is strictly by invitation. Okay. We are looking at traditional leaders and political figures. I mean, people who will just, um, I mean, just for the opening ceremony. Mm. Now, the subsequent programs, you, your, the ladies and their fan base can be coming and then be, be making the whole thing awesome. live here. All right, so this Saturday at what time? 8 p.m. 8, 8 p.m. Sharp. sharp. Is it going to be every Saturday yes. at 8 p.m.? Yes. So you see, we are preparing your Saturday, 8 p.m., and then Sunday, 2 p.m., amazing time. So the thing is on. Come and support us. But, of course, it's strictly by invitation. You can watch us 8 p.m., the relaunch of the Nagadangbe Beauty Pageant comes of life. And for those of you who have been waiting, it is now time to uh, watch them. Final words before we let you go. Now, boy. Okay, um, to my lovely ladies, Nagadangwe uh, pageant ladies, I know you're watching me, and this Saturday is going to be your opening show. So I want to uh, put the uh, uh, voting code out mm. so that when you're watching on Saturday, you choose your favorite contestant and then you vote for them. Mm. So the short code is star 713 star 123 hash. You follow the order and then vote for your favorite contestant. Star 713 star. star. One, two, three, hash. One, two, three, hash. Okay, that's it. It's as simple as that. All right, final words from you. Um, please permit me. I want to go. I want to go the, the local way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 you know, 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 Big up to yourself. Um, Mama, Agi, I mean, Manya Mokasi, Gide, Junior Wulu clothing, <laughs> Nabole, small images, yes. Atuki. We just want to say a very big thank you to all Aseda. of you. Aseda. Aseda. Nagadangwe. Okay, you, Papa. Namo. Anna. Okay, so Oko, Oniku, and of course, Nabole appears of Nagadangwe. Mkbabofai. Uh, Mkbabofai. We'll go for a break. Mkbabofai. <laughs> and Muncho, Shikpon. We'll be right back.